Hey, it's me, Soma, again, yay. Uh, we're here to talk about something much more cool than me. We're here to talk about one of my favorite games ever, DayZ. Brian Hicks, my old homie. You're just saying that. What's up, buddy? We used, literally used to live together, man. You're, I know. We did. I know a lot about you, man. As I you. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know some dark, dark stuff. Uh, Daisy still a popular game on Twitch. People still like it. Somehow, yeah. How? Because uh, you, because you guys develop it and like put stuff in it. This is true. This is true. I, I would imagine that it is, it continues to be popular because of the emotions it invokes, in those who play it and the stories that you can tell, no matter what you do, whether it be, you know, lyric running up and down the coast with a, you know, a pink dress and a fire extinguisher, or Mr. Blackout telling these crazy adventure stories all the way uh, up in the north. Sure. So. Daisy has been around for a while. Yeah. Um, it is creeping up to a beta, maybe? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting towards okay. our goal. Uh, we're still aiming for the, uh, the end of this year. It'll probably get pushed maybe a month, maybe two at most. But and with that, are there new features and new stuff, Brian? Yes, actually. Okay. Um, what I do you got? You guys, you guys out back have um, one. Let's, can we queue up uh, that first image? Let's, I want to see some cool new stuff. All right, so what Holy we've been talking shit. about for a while was the idea of doing contaminated terrain. And what you see here is this is uh, concept art, right, uh, for an area up in the, the most northern west corner of the map called TC. And the idea behind this installation, as we're, we're working on the assets for it, and essentially the, the map designers working on this, is that uh, well, we have these gas masks. And I know, gas I wear them a lot when I play. And, <laughs> but, like, what's the point? Like, why do you have to... You there is no th point. There's no point. Well... We thought it would be interesting to, to add a reason for this, like a function to them. And it put it in an area that uh, is uh, what we call high risk, high reward. And TC is the first example of that. And, and if, if, if this works gameplay-wise, we can expand this stuff into the major cities, you know. But you see you have mass graves here. And, and uh, obviously, anywhere there's a large... That's a mass. grave? I thought it was just a bunch of people partying. Oh, yeah, it's just, it, it, <laughs> it's a, from the grave to the grave. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, a large amount of uh, infected bodies. And we know that the survivors in Daisy are immune to the disease, but uh, being immune to the disease or not, being around that many dead, rotting corpses is not healthy. Right. So you need your, your, uh, your hazmat suits, your gas masks and such to enter this area. And as you see, um, like uh, up there on the, uh, the radar stand, there's some valuable items up at the TC military base. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. I'm seeing a vehicle and an aerial vehicle. Yeah. And you may be... Sprinkle a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's talk a little off. bit more I about that know. sucker. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at number two, guys. So oh, this is oh, our... Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love helicopters and DayZ. This is uh, what we're going to be doing as kind of our pilot program for aerial vehicles. Pilot program. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the Little Bird, uh, the, uh, if you played Arma 2, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a fairly popular helicopter. You've served in the military. You've seen it uh, tens of thousands of times. Yep. It's used in many configurations. Uh, fortunately, coming from uh, when we started the project way back, we, s we started with a lot of assets coming from take on helicopters. The, the, uh, the Arma stuff, the Arma 2 stuff was not, I'm going to get a little technical, I apologize. It was it's okay, man. The, the textures were just not high quality enough. The, the models were not high poly enough. It just didn't work for the quality bar we wanted to set for DayZ. Sure. Like, if we're going to do that, why not just release a, a you know, souped up mod? And we, wanted, we wanted to raise the quality bar on, on visual fidelity. So. Fortunately, the uh, take on helicopter stuff uh, it was high poly enough that we just really had to look at retexturing. And then once the retexturing work was done, it was a matter of, uh, a matter of plugging it into to the, the physics and the simulation in DayZ versus the old Arma. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and play that video for me, guys. Let's take a look, see? Dude, I'm so stoked for helicopters. Yes. Me too. All right, let's see what we got here. Now, this, is, this is very early. OK. It's OK. Like this no. text says. Oh, this, yes. okay. There's a warning. Okay, work in progress. In fact, I don't even think we had time to animate the rear rotor. Oh, shit, here we go. Oh, my God. We, no, we looked at going, going uh, as complex as taking on helicopters for their flight model. And, uh, I mean, you, you know, I, I was between Kai and I, we were the pilots. I, I got in a uh, helicopter and take on helicopters and proceeded to face plan immediately. So, uh, it <laughs> yeah, might be yeah. a little too complicated. So we think there's a, there's a nice medium uh, between the two. And, uh, of course, this will also allow us to start introducing a, a real reason uh, for the redesigned Northeast Airfield for uh, aircraft parts and civilian aircraft and so on and so forth. Uh, and we, we have mock-up UI up here still. But, yeah, this is, uh, we, we, we got this put together just in time to, to talk about it here at, at TwitchCon, is that uh, that's the next big, uh, as far as content goes for us, is aerial, aerial vehicles. 
When I first started playing Daisy, and it was with you and a few of our other friends, uh, one of the most intense situations I've ever been in uh, was the first time a helicopter flew over me in Daisy with my crew. Yes. And we had to take cover, hide in a bush, and they were circling, looking for us. And there was, you know, there was a a weapon on on the helicopter that players could utilize to yeah, kill. Yeah, the UH-11. It was uh, it was an M60 or something. M60. And you could kill people from the helicopter, and there was definitely people just flying around. And it was very rare to find a helicopter. Oh, yeah. Only one or two on the map. Mm -hmm. And so when you heard that thing, it put fear in you. In fact, and that's still to this day, the one, like, people, when people ask, what is your greatest accomplishment in DayZ? And I link to that, that VOD from your stream way back in the day when you and I in the dark took down that uh, the helicopter. The helicopter in Pitch Black. Yeah. That w see? That's why helicopters are so great. I am so happy that choppers are coming to Daisy. You and me both. Contamination me both. zone. So if you, if I walk into a contaminated zone without a gas mask, am I like insta dead, or am I just gonna like? No, no, no. It's it's ah. your your character for one is going to contract a disease, and that disease is gonna start slowly. Got it. And that may or may not be curable. Oh. So I mean, sure, you can. We don't we don't want to say it's absolutely mandatory. If you want to run in there, sure. If you're think you can get in there and get that helicopter repaired and get out, uh, sure, go for it. But your character's, character's not going to do too well. And actually, speaking of characters, um, we have another image coming up. I forgot the number of it, but uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so for a while, uh, back at RTX, we were talking about uh, soft skills. And, and that, uh, that's one step of uh, character advancement, uh, to uh, add an attachment to the character instead of just the gear. And uh, the soft skills, the prototypes for that are actually uh, um, just being put together right now, the first three skills. And we're making good headway on that. And uh, headway. <laughs> and uh, the, ne the next thing is, is, and of course, I only have the, the male example up here right now, was how do we, we allow people, uh, <laughs> how do we allow uh, folks to, to grow their character? And obviously, beards is the first thing we thought about. We, we, we didn't get to it earlier because we wanted to make sure that when we did this, we did it for both the male and the female. And beards. that it was not beards. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and uh, that it was something that you could you could work towards it, or you could also get rid of it. I mean, who's to say you don't want to shave your beard off and wash your face and and sprint down to the coast and pretend to be a bambi? Like, oh, I'm totally you know, help me, give me stuff, come to my camp, and then you know, so on and so forth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> with with the the character lifespan, uh, we, we talked about beards for male characters, and 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 your face just getting. Uh, worn down with uh, dust and, and muck and such. But another uh, aspect of that is scars, and that is one thing you can't opt out of. And we wanted to do scars on, on uh, a player's faces uh, depending on severe trauma. You know. So you get hit with a kitchen knife, let's say. You're going to see a scar there? Uh, ideally, yes. Ideally. Yeah. So, you know, Raw Kid, you know, he, he helped make Daisy. Yeah? Is his skin going to be able to have a beard as well? That was horrible. I know. I'm sorry. At least I tried. No, you I put tried. myself out there. Well, let's, let's go I ahead. I failed, but at least I tried. Let's go ahead and just throw Dean under the bus. Uh, yeah, totally. Let's throw him. Yeah. Uh, no, because Dean's, uh, Dean's player model is being removed because his nose is too big. So he's becoming a uh, rocket zombie. He's getting wow. Really that is amazing. Rocket yep. the zombie. We just couldn't do anything about his nose. He what about Matt everything. Lightfoot? Is Matt Lightfoot's character still going to be in the game? Yes, and you and get to somehow see like, a, like a child's a face on a man's body and, and facial hair. It's, it's going to be a scary game. For those who know Matt Lightfoot, it's going to be amazing. God. Well, uh, thank you for joining us. Please tell everyone where they can buy the game, get information, Twitter accounts, Facebook, Well, you can pick up Grindr. DC if you show, uh, choose to ignore the warnings. Uh, you can pick up Daisy on Steam. Uh, we're in the early access program right now. Uh, for information on Daisy development, I encourage folks to head to uh, daisy.com. We have a dev hub there, links to our Twitter, our Facebook, uh, all of our social media, and that's where you would uh, get the best information on whether or not you want to pick up Daisy during its development. Awesome. Well, I'm going to keep playing, and now that choppers are in, I'm definitely going to keep playing. So thank you very much for uh, letting everyone know. Thank you.